Samoa. I happened to land uh, on this particular letter that has been written as a response by Dr. Nkosa Zanajamini Zuma saying that she's not going to be available to serve in the next parliament. What should we read in that particular retirement of Dr. Nkosa Zanajamini Zuma? Well, Tolly, I mean, there are many layers to this. One layer is, of course, senior leaders of the ANC seemingly not really wanting to be associated with this election campaign. But when we talk about Dr. Nkosa Zanazamini Zuma in particular, two things come to mind. Of course, there was still that disciplinary process that was yet to uh, get underway for those members of parliament who voted against the party lines when it came to that Section 189 panel report that was uh, written by Justice Sandy Lengobo in relation to the Palapala uh, farm issue. And then, of course, should we read um, something else into it after we saw Ace Mahashule among his party with the party are we taking it too far uh, let's bring in then uh, Benzi Kasoko to talk about that how should we read uh, this um, letter by Dr. Nkosa Zanatlamini Zuma in which she says um, she's not available to serve in parliament uh, this year thank you very much uh, Zianda uh, this is a very interesting political development uh, in our political landscape uh, it forces us to do a double-click analysis of the ANC as a, as a governing party and leader of society. Remember, uh, Mama Nkosazana Yamini Zuma uh, is not a tabula rasa. He's one, he's one of the, the, the heavyweights within the ANC who actually led the movement uh, during trying times. Her retirement, so-called retirement, comes uh, amid the emergence of the MK party and the realignment of politics in South Africa. Why do you say it's a so-called retirement? Why should we not read it as just her gracefully bowing out and saying, no, uh, thank you, I have served my time? Especially since she served, she's one of those MPs who served all the presidents of the ANC in the government. Uh, I'm carefully referring uh, it to a, a so-called retirement. Yeah simply because of the political shenanigans that are taking place in the uh, Remember, uh, Mama Nkosa Zanajamini Zuma was one of the senior MPs who defied the party line uh, during the Palapala uh, vote, uh, to an extent that the, the ANC said they will be called for disciplinary hearing. So we are not reading too much uh, to what is happening with regards to her. The question is, is she telling us uh, something to talk, uh, uh, ponder about, or are we, are we, are we, are we going uh, uh, too far in reading that? Yeah. The jury is still out to make a determination. But uh, it is not uh, unthinkable to make conclusions about the politics of the ANC in the current chapter. And when we talk about her in particular in relation to the leadership of President Cyril Ramaphosa, what does that say about someone of her stature and seniority within the organization and what they are trying to do here today, which is to close the gap when it comes to the trust deficits we were talking about earlier? Uh, it should be indicated that Mama Nkosa Jamini Zuma was a, a, a contestant uh, during the national conference of the ANC. Uh, there was a face-off uh, between her uh, and Cyril Ramaphosa. Uh, we should not uh, uh, take that for granted. Has she uh, still served under him in the last this, previous, this current administration, I should say? Yes, uh, she's, she's still serving. Remember, all ANC leaders will say uh, we are disciplined and not members of the Flores movement, but uh, only to find that uh, they are doing other things on their So uh, we should not be surprised if this uh, retirement is a political move, which is a, a, a chess strategy that we are still going to observe uh, as the people of this country. So in other words, the ANC must be concerned about the latest developments. 
the ANC as a governing party and leader of society should be concerned about uh, each and every political development taking place within its uh, political organogram. Uh, the ANC should be concerned that uh, the SACP under the leadership of uh, Mr. Solima Baida is, is, is questioning the alliance in the current form. They are saying there should be a reconfiguration. So the ANC should be concerned that the uh, 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 heavy weight of the caliber of the SACP is raising those but issues. But it's not the first time they've raised it. They say this every time there's going to be an election and never actually, um, you know, go, for, go ahead and actually form a political party or actually campaign outside of the alliance. I'm happy that we are, we are, we are, we are coming from that corner. Uh, it is high time that the SACP should stand up and say we are the Communist Party. Uh, we, we have a vision to implement socialism in this country. The SACP has lived under the shadow of the ANC for a long time. We understood that the, the, the relationship during the national struggle for liberation. But post-1994, the SACP as an intellectual and political giant that it is, it is high time that the SACP should stand up and say, we go it alone. Uh, the ANC uh, will, will, will be kept in its toes if the SACP and other left-wing organizations are going their way. Yeah. Now the ANC is on a comfort zone because they know that the SACP COSATU is going to ensure that the, the ANC gets a, a, a huge majority during elections. So this time around, the SACP under the leadership of Mr. Solima Baila should, should, should uh, declare unequivocally that the ANC does not represent the aspirations of the people in accordance with the vision that the SACP has. And they'll be going to have Solima Baila in a short while, but uh, certainly when it comes to the latest development of uh, Dr. Kosaza Nadlamini Zuma not uh, returning to Parliament, perhaps then a politically loaded uh, move from the part of the senior ANC member, or maybe we're reading too much into it, Goli, but definitely uh, this election looks set to get interesting and by the day actually absolutely spot on uh zian and mobile thank you very much part of our team that is watching development for us in bombella stadium